All right, guys, it's Keith with Ontario MMA Alliance. We're here with victorious fighter tonight, Lyndon Whitlock. Lyndon, we're in Hamilton, your hometown. You came out with a spectacular, spectacular fight. First round TKO. Uh, what went through your mind? What's it feel like fighting at home? Uh, it's awesome to have support and everything, but like I said, once you get in that cage, it doesn't matter who's home or at, you know, it's just a fight. Now, the last time we saw you, we were with you, was in Moncton. Yeah. Uh, it was, you know, you're, you're, you're fighting for the Elite One title, and, you know, you lost that fight. Um, how did you rebound from your first loss of your career? You know, a lot, a lot changed. I was overtraining. I was working way too hard. I was doing focus on aspects of the sport I shouldn't be wasting time in. Um, I'm not training nearly as hard. I'm being more efficient with my time in the gym. Uh, doing a lot more MMA sparring. Everything I do is five minutes. It's not three minutes when I'm doing tie pads. Like a lot changed. I learned so much from that experience. It sucked big time losing, but I'm a better fighter now because of it. Now let's talk about tonight's fight. Okay, so coming out, were you? Did you know you had a, you know, an advantage on the standing up against this guy? Or um, I don't know. Call me a little cocky a little bit, but coming from Iron Tiger, I feel like yeah, we have a bit of advantage against this guy. But he was no slouch. I knew he had a good ground game. And I had to keep him at his distance and pick my punches. Yep. So, yeah. All right. So now that tonight's over, what's next for Lyndon Whitlock? I don't know. Just going to go home, relax. I had two fights back to back. So I'm going to take some time off right now, heal up, and uh, I'll talk with Alan and figure something out. All right. Well, you know what? Congratulations. Enjoy tonight. And we'll see you soon. Appreciate that. Thanks.